Star Trek Operation Enterprise is a mock multi-launch coaster at Movie Park, Germany. This coaster features a short but diverse layout and more theming than you'd expect for a thrill coaster. But is the ride a worthy top attraction for this movie-themed park? Find out in this review of Star Trek Operation Enterprise. Movie Park Germany had always excelled at theming, but they were sorely lacking a signature thrill coaster. That was rectified for the park's 20th birthday in 2017 when the park added Star Trek Operation Enterprise, a mock multi-launch coaster in the site of the park's former film museum. The coaster makes quite the first impression. The big black coaster is brilliantly placed behind the park's entry fountain, hyping guests up for their day. Ironically, this and the queue line for the Area 51 water ride are the two best places to watch the coaster. That's because the ride is blocked in by the show buildings for other attractions on the other sides of it. Heck, this ride's own entrance blocks the ride as well. You can't even see any coaster track from the ride's dedicated plaza, but Federation Plaza looks great. You have the famous Star Trek theme booming through the area, and you enter the Starfleet Academy to ride the attraction. And this ride is a dream come true for Star Trek fans. Even if you don't like coasters, it's worth experiencing the queue line. The ride is themed to Star Trek The Next Generation series that ran from 1987 to 1994. The queue line is broken into a few different areas. The first section consists of a series of switchbacks featuring props from the TV series and a giant monitor with information on the cast. Both the standby and speedy pass lines are held at the end of this room. Then, one to two trains worth of people are sent into the deserted bridge of the USS Enterprise, the ship from Star Trek. The detail in this room is astounding. Now prior to COVID-19, this room used to house a pre-show. I saw it back in 2019, and it was really well done. The Borg have captured the crew of the USS Enterprise. The only way to rescue them is to send a series of Starfleet cadets, aka the guests, to rescue them. The way this attraction set the tone for the main experience reminded me of a Disney ride. The final section of the queue line leads into the station, where you can select any row that you please, and I strongly recommend the back. This allows you to fully ascend the twisting spike and also get pulled down the top hat. The front does have the unobstructed view, but I can't think of any elements that are superior up there. In both my visits to Movie Park Germany, this coaster has run just one train. The ride can run multiple, but Park Ace Reunidos likes to run just one train to save on maintenance whenever possible across all their parks. Fortunately, lines have not been more than 15 to 20 minutes thanks to how quickly the crew checks the restraints. If you've ridden any of the other new generation mock coasters, you'll be familiar with these trains and restraints. You have raised seats with a super comfortable lap bar that comes down from overhead. The lap bar can come down tightly, especially during moments of positive G's, but it doesn't inhibit my ability to experience the airtime and hang time this coaster provides. It's really profiled well. Those trains also look fantastic. They're sleek and designed to look like a starship. They complement the futuristic looking station perfectly, as the latter are accentuated by bright LED lights. After the trains are checked, a door raises to reveal a switch track. An alarm goes off and the trains move forward onto the switch track. You then slide over to the launch track, all while the alarm is still blaring and the music intensifies. During this process, you have some visuals to appreciate including a screen and a warning that you're entering an area with variable gravity. A second door then opens, revealing the coaster's layout. After a brief pause, you roll forwards in the launch one. Now mock launch coasters are not known for their power, and the first launch in Star Trek is laughably bad. You barely accelerate at all. You start rolling down the track so slowly, you honestly question if the launch is going to kick in. But you eventually gain enough speed to rise up halfway up the top hat, which gives some hang time for those up front. You then roll backwards into the second launch, which is considerably better. While this LSM launch still has a modest acceleration, the sudden kick when it activates did cause me to bend forwards over the lap bar. After rocketing through the building, you get blasted with positive G's and then ascend the best element on the ride the 130 foot or 40 meter tall twisted vertical spike. Since you can't see this element coming, the 360 degree rotation while climbing vertically really catches you off guard. You need to be in the back car to get the full rotation. You also get more weightlessness back there because you climb up higher. You levitate out of your seat for a few seconds while also getting some laterals from the twist. 
it really is one of the best spikes out there, and I wish there were more twisted ones out there. You then zip through the building and hit launch 3, and to be honest, it doesn't even feel like you accelerate any further. Really, that backwards launch is the only satisfying one for me. You then head into a top hat. Everyone gets a weak pop of airtime over the top, but those in back get launched out of their seat even further for some sustained ejector airtime on that descent. It's not as intense as an Intamin top hat, for example, but it's still solid airtime. Next is the double roll. This element starts off as an Immelman, and it's followed by a barrel roll dive drop, sort of like the ones you see in RMCs. The two rolls occur quite slowly, so you get some fantastic hang time. Those in back also get some whip exiting the element as the train accelerates towards the ground on the second inversion. You then careen through this banked hill, giving a weak bit of sideways airtime. The pullout then takes place through a brief tunnel, and you shoot up into a rapid fire series of airtime hills. You have a double down followed by a little bunny hill. Those in back get two decent pops in the double down, while those up front get milder airtime. The subsequent bunny hill delivers in all rows, delivering something towing on the edge of very strong floater to weak ejector. Star Trek then wraps around a low turn and rises into the final element, a zero G roll. This inversion blends great hang time with some decent laterals. It's a good way to end the coaster. You then hit the brake run, ending the 2360 foot or 720 meter long coaster. And the ride does feel a bit longer than that because you have that multi-pass launch sequence before the main layout. This ride's pacing is solid minus two of the launches being duds, but what about the smoothness? This coaster, like many from Mach, is very smooth. I could ride this coaster all day. So what would I rate Star Trek Operation Enterprise? I would give this coaster an 8 out of 10. This is a good coaster and easily the best thrill coaster in Movie Park Germany. While the launches could be better, the rest of the layout offers a nice mix of hang time filled inversions and air time. I especially love that twisted vertical spike, but all three inversions are top notch too. Then these elements are paired with some wonderful theming. I hope the pre-show returns in the future, because it does really add to the experience even on repeat rides. But the visuals and sound build a really nice atmosphere prior to boarding. Star Trek fans will be in love making their way through this ride's area and queue line. And coaster lovers will like the well-rounded ride experience. So those are my thoughts on Star Trek Operation Enterprise. What are your thoughts on this mock launch coaster? Do you agree it's the best attraction at Movie Park Germany? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching, and live long and prosper.